Pizza Friday! Have you ever tried this? <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna jump rope with my sweater. <laughs> Okay, can I actually talk to you guys about something serious? Like, we need to like have a real talk right now. I have been having, hold on. I'm still trying to catch my breath from those jump ropes. Okay, wait, but like on the real, can I vent to you guys? Because like, I just need someone to talk to right now. I've been just going through it, man. I've been just going through it. Why do I talk to you like you're my therapist? Okay, if I'm being very honest with you, I'm having a rough time. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like, you know, having it to Friday, like everything's great, everything's just roses and unicorns and sunshines and everything's beautiful. My life is just so easy and I'm always happy and she has so much energy because I don't, honestly, I don't know half the time where my energy comes from. This is gonna be a very, like, real vlog. <laughs> I hit the dough aggressively. I just need to talk to you guys about something that's just been bothering me. I have been working in these pizzerias since I was literally like this tall, right? So with that comes like learning a lot about people and managing people and hiring people and working with people who know how to work, working with people who don't know how to work, just different types of people, right? So where am I going with this? This is not a subtweet. This is not like me like poking at anybody or just like workers in general. All I want to say to you, the insight I want to give to you is if you want to get something done, you got to do it yourself. Especially 2021, everyone's lazy, everyone's getting unemployment, they don't care. They don't think it's important to get jobs anymore and stuff. People don't see the value in just like work anymore. Like right now, I feel like nobody is working at all or they don't have to work. They just don't see the like value in working in general. I mean, that's great. I would love to not work, but at the same time, like I didn't have the choice like to work or not work. Like I had to work growing up. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. Of course, I grew up in like the family business, right? But like working really shaped me to become who I am so much. And what I mean by this is like, I don't even want to know who I would have been if I didn't have to work all these hours and manage people and stuff. I don't even want to know who I would have been because I feel like a lot of the time work kept me out of trouble. Honestly, like most of the time work kept me out of trouble. Would it have been nice to not work, you know, when I was younger and stuff? Of course. But at the same time, do I want that now? No. I love that I had to work throughout all my younger years. You have no idea, like I swear. I don't talk about this enough. Honestly, what is this video? I'm just like ranting. Is this a rant? <laughs> I'm just curious to see if anybody else like relates. Like hard work is valued. Respect is valued. Like doing stuff independently and working for what you have is valued. And I feel like a lot of people around me, it's not how they think. It makes me sad. And it kind of makes me like worried about the future. Like I don't know if I want to bring up kids in this next generation, like the TikTok generation, like I am stressed. Do you know what I almost forgot to do? I almost forgot to do the pizza montage. That would have been tragic. Anyway, from 11 to 3, we have like a $2 slice deal. It's like $2.49 for all slices. I had this Karen come in and she was like, what is the price of all the slices? And I was like, $2.49, you know, it's a pretty good deal. From 11 to 3, you save a lot of money. In so many words, this lady was trying to like get a better deal. She's like, Can, is there a better price than this? Is there like a coupon out? Because it's not free and like I'm not paying anything other than free. Guys, I really, I my patience these days with just food service and like working, Hi, thanks for calling Camp Speed 3 and Brown Prop. This is Juliana speaking. How can I help you? For Faith. And after tax, it's 2019, okay? Yep, bye-bye. 
2019. What a time, right? 2019 was like actually a great year. It was like right before the Fire Nation attacked, you know? Also, this customer's name is Faith. That's like a lot to live up to. Like that name. Your name is Faith. I have a question for everybody watching this. Do you know what your name means? If you do know what your name means, that's awesome. If you don't know what your name means, why not? Like, aren't you curious? Like, you were named something so specific. Like, don't you want to know the meaning of it? For those of you who know what your name means, do you live up to your name? Serious question. Also, I'm whispering because, like, this guy is still sitting there. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, homeboy locked. Welcome back to this video. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me what my name means. So Juliana means youthful and childlike. So like a youthful energy, you know? And I feel like my name was like divinely picked for me because I naturally am this way. But it confuses me when there's people who are like named after something or named something and they don't live up to their name. I think that's really interesting. I wonder what that means. Thanks for being my friend, Aww. if you're still here. I really appreciate those of you who watch me. Feels like I have a lot of friends. I love making videos and I love sharing parts of my life with you guys. Hey, I'm just scrubbing the floors. Thought we could talk while I do this. I love vigorously cleaning because I feel like not only is this spot getting clean because of me, but also like it's a good workout, you know? And it's like two for one, you know? We love a two for one deal. I love when you can see like the before and after. I just realized that it's like literally three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today, except for I had coffee. There's just like so much to do in so little time, you know what I mean? I love to clean because when I clean, I feel like when I can't control other things in my life, I can control how clean this floor is right now and I feel better about it, you know? I like to clean the stuff no one thinks about. Like the side of this, like it's just sad. Like no one cleans the side of this cooler. Can't have dirty garbage. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my name should have been Cinderella. Okay, so when I clean things, I also think about the things that clean me. You know, the cleaners themselves, like this sink, right? So right now I wanna wash my hands. And I'm cleaning them in this baby sink that people don't think to clean. But I see you, baby sink. This makes me think of my mom. Cause like my mom like takes care of all of us. Like she wants to do everyone's laundry. She wants to cook for everybody. She wants to take care of everybody else. And it's like who takes care of her, you know? The next time you see like a sink, Moms, remember this and appreciate them because they don't get it enough. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I love this little baby sink. Oh, you know what else I love? I love this baby knife. This baby knife has gotta be one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. It just like does it all. Like if I wanna cut something open, baby knife. If I need to cut something real quick, but like be precise about it, baby knife. If I need to like open up boxes, baby knife. If I need to core something, baby knife. Baby knife has literally always been there for me. <laughs> love you, baby knife. This looks kind of like a bug baby knife. <laughs> I was cleaning like this earlier in the dining room and a customer was like, can I hire you to clean my house? Like you're doing a really good job. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> But no. Actually, JK, I love cleaning other people's houses. Honestly, more than my own house. I just love seeing like instant progress, you know? I'm really about it. It is almost dinner time too, so I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to each other. Which I always hate doing. I love talking to you. Like, I wanna just keep talking. It feels like we're at a sleepover. Like, I don't wanna go to bed because we have so much to talk about, you know? I'll be honest, you're gonna see me in the pizzeria a little bit more because this pizzeria needs a little GLC, you know what I mean? Instead of tender love and care, it needs Juliana love and care. That's why I'm here a little bit more. But it's all good. It's definitely a lot harder to like edit my videos and stay focused because I'm exhausted at the end of the day, but it's okay because I'm just trying to look at this as like the universe saying, Juliana, do you really love making videos? Hold on. Let me, I'll tell you. Give me one second. Hello. Okay, so that person who just came in was Faith picking up her pizza. Remember how we talked about like name meetings and stuff? Well, Faith should have been named Grouch because homegirl came in like with an attitude a little bit. I showed her the pizza. I'm like, how does it look? It looks beautiful. And she goes, it's fine. Anyway, um, as we all know, I know it's super cliche, but like the best things in life are not easy. I just got an order. Not to be like sappy, but like, I don't know. I, I just love to reflect on this stuff and I think it's really important to realize that if you're going through something hard, it just means there's something great at the end. <gasps> it's Haley. Hi. Hi. We were just cleaning the floor. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you too. I was just talking about how like the hard parts in your life make you who you are. Well, as I like, scrub the floor. <laughs> This is Haley. You can just sit here. So like I was saying, if it's like extra hard, it's good. 
And if it's too easy, then maybe make it harder. I feel like you're very thinky. I think you reflect. Oh, like you're too thinking. much? You yeah. Think too much? I don't know. That's a trick question. Don't ever let someone tell you you think too much. I don't think you were gonna say that though. Or were you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Juliana like asked a lot of trick questions. <laughs> what do you mean? It's very tricky. She asked me a lot of trick questions yesterday. She was like, so what does this do? And I was like, what? And she was like, false, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Some background, Haley and I have known each other since middle school, and now she's helped me out at the pizzeria because I just love her, like it's someone I can trust. And literally I told her, like even if, she's brand new, and I'm like, even if you don't know anything, like just tell me a joke and I'll be happy. Like, that's all I need. I just need good energy, I need someone who is rooting for me. You know, like a cheerleader for me, and that's what Haley is, and it's, and plus, she's really good at her job, which I have a uniform for Thank you. For you. you do? Yeah, I'm gonna go get it. You Are you really scrubbing this with like a toothbrush? Yeah, that's how you can get like the more like specific <laughs> parts. Cinderella. I was just saying that. Congrats, Haley's getting her new uniform right now. Oh. You do? Yeah, I can work with this. Okay, the phone's ringing. I gotta say, actually, let's get it really quick. <laughs> Hi, thanks for calling Camps with Rian Browncroft. This is Juliana speaking. How can I help you? All right, I just had to take that really quick, but I will just leave you guys with this. It gets better, and if it doesn't get better, it just means that whatever you're headed to is gonna be even greater than you thought. All right, guys. I have to go make a bunch of pizzas right now. Happy Pizza Friday, if it is Friday, if it is not Friday, which I put this out on a Wednesday, so just happy day to you. <laughs> hey, say bye. Bye, guys. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>